What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 and today I'm bringing you guys another figure review and we're sticking with the theme of DBZ and today we're taking a look at actually our first true villain. Now Vegeta I don't consider a villain villain because he ended up turning to become one of the good guys. Uh, if you haven't watched DBZ, sorry I just spoiled uh, something for you, but uh, I'm sure everyone who's watching my review on this Cell figure has watched Dragon Ball Z. If not, stop this video and go watch it right now. Uh, it's a lot of fun and you will enjoy it thoroughly if you're into action and whatnot. So here we go. Here is Cell. Pretty awesome. But before we take a look at the actual figure, obviously we'll always take a look at the packaging itself. So the packaging, as you guys can clearly see, is decorated really nicely with the black, the silver or the gray, and the green. Um, the colors that make up Cell himself, so it's pretty awesome that they did it this way. Um, it, this box looks awesome. Maybe it's because I love the green that they used, I love the black, I love the gray. The color combination it just pops. Maybe that's the reason, but I truly do like this packaging. Now, you have, it's a very standard SH Figure Arts packaging style box. You have the open uh, display window here. You have the perfect cell, the name, SH Figure Arts going uh, on across the top. Dragon Ball Z sticker right here. Tamashi Nations, Bandai, and you have that little stamp of approval sticker by Tamashi Nation. So that's that. Pretty cool. On the side here, like any other DBZ figure, Cell comes with also the pixelated version of the figure. Pretty awesome once again, love the colors and it's pretty cool how they set this up. On the back here you have some of the dynamic poses you can get Cell in. Now Cell is the first figure to include a Kai Blast piece which you guys can kind of see right there which is pretty awesome. Um, I love how they set up this and I'll show you this um, accessory when we do the review and we, when we take a look at the accessories, but that is pretty awesome. I wish the others included that as well, but hey, those were the earlier figures and they are improving as time goes on, so you can't complain. So as you guys he uh, can see here, uh, we have Cell in all his glory. Over here, there's a little read up on Perfect Cell. So if you guys would like to pause the video right now and then read it for yourself, by all means do so. So there you go. All right, so that's the back of the packaging. On this side, once again, like any DBZ figure from the SH Figure Arts line, you have the figure here himself and you have Perfect Cell, which is pretty cool because if you line up all the boxes, you can ha see um, the name and the actual figure and it lines up perfectly which is great. Some of the boxes are a little bit bigger but you guys get the picture. So that's that. Alright, enough of the packaging. Let's take a look at what's inside. So, Cell is one of those figures that come in a bigger box because just of the character himself and because of the accessory that this guy comes with. As you guys can clearly see, I'll put this on the back right here. As you guys can clearly see, the plastic tray that he comes with, there's two of them. One purely for the accessories right here, which is pretty cool. And then one for him and all his other accessories. So that's that. So you know what, let's start with the basic accessories first because these we've all seen before and um, it's nothing surprising. Alright. Oh, something to note. When you get your cell figure, cell is the only figure that comes with like these plastic pieces. This plastic piece was in like like his neck area and these other pieces were surrounding the cape and all this other stuff. I love how they did it, did it because, and I understand why they did it because they wanted to keep the figure safe and whatnot, but it was something new. Uh, they haven't done that with any of the other figures, so I was quite surprised when I saw it. 
So let's get on with the accessories. First accessory I would like to show off to you guys is one of the faces. I think this is, or maybe not. Well, this is one of the faces that you get. You have Cell kind of grinning. Pretty cool. He has a little smirk. Here we have a very stern face Cell. He's not pretty happy and it's the same face that this figure has or this picture of the figure has. So that's pretty cool. Another accessory that you get, just like the Piccolo figure, you get this cross arm pose because Cell does this quite often as well. So that's pretty cool. Look at the detailing on this on this piece, this accessory. I mean, they didn't need to go this far, but I mean, look at how intricate the color scheme and just the shading here and then the sculpt work here. I mean, this is pretty awesome how they did this. Now, I'm just letting you guys know, straight up, this is a pain to get on. Trust me, it's once you have it on, you're probably never ever going to want to take it out because it took you freaking forever. Um, I've seen reviews where people say, oh yeah, it's not that bad, but no, it's pretty bad. Um, maybe it's because I'm very impatient, but trying to line up the little holes to these, uh, the pegs to these holes, and then try to click them in place while the figure's trying to move, it's just a pain. But still, love the fact that they included this piece. Alright, let's take a look at the hands. Of course, you uh, get standard fisted hands with the nails all painted. Uh, this has like a blue, bluish tone to it, if you guys can kind of see it around the knuckles. Hopefully it'll show, but it's mostly white. So that's that. You get a set of these. You get a set of these open palm hands with the nails all nicely colored in. You get these, like, I'm gonna get you, like, come here type of hand, or like scratching hands. You get a set of those, pretty cool. And then, you get this type of hand, which is more action-y. Yeah, he's like in a fighting stance type of hand. So that's that. Oh, actually, let me just show you these as well. These are some more standard open hand, like Kai Blast shooting hand. So there's that. So that's it for the actual accessories when it comes to the figure himself. Now let's take a look at the biggest accessory that you get with this SH Figure Arc cell figure. All right, pretty excited. All right, let's first take a look at the actual Kai Blast itself. The Kai Blast has some weight to it. This is actually pretty heavy, so they include a, uh, a stand for it and it pegs in right there, as you guys can kind of see. Uh, I love the coloring, the shading that they did. Um, you see it's pure white or pearlescent with a hint of blue here. It just goes all the way through, it has a little bit of blue here. And that's that. This is a pretty solid piece. If you get hit by this thing, you're not gonna be a happy camper, I can tell you that much. But love that they included this. The next piece, I'll put it here for now, that we need is this piece right here. Awesome. This is to represent the ground. So you'll have this piece down here and then this thing going over it. So it looks like this Kai Blast has pretty much destroyed the ground here and it's going across some water or whatever. So that's that. You get two, one for each side of these wave pieces. I love this effect. I mean, look at it. It looks so cool. You start at the deep, you know, like the rich blue down here, and it kind of fizzles out and it turns to a clear white up here. You have like these rock pieces, the debris, as you guys can kind of see, 
that's from this ground piece. I mean, they didn't need to include this, but damn, they did an awesome job with this. And you get two of them for each side. So, pretty awesome stuff. Last thing you get with this is obviously the connector for this part right here. Obviously, why? Because once you feel this thing, this thing has some weight to it. And it, if, yeah, it's gonna be... Without something as sturdy and thick as this, it's probably not going to be able to hold it. So that's the reason why they included it. Alright, so let's try connecting these and make, making this display piece. So let's see, I'm assuming... Yes. This goes on the bottom, just like that. Pretty cool. And it bends, so you could get in all different angles, etc. So that's that. Then we'll take these pieces right here. And just line it up. Like that. Am I doing this right? Let me just make sure. Yeah. Here's the display piece. And I'm just going along with it. So, holes, peg, just shove it in. Not rocket science. Okay, so bam, there you go. Now, lastly, we'll put this part. Here's the hole, here's the little peg, and we will connect. It's a little tight, just slowly wiggle it in, and there you go. Bam, so that's that. And then you can have cell pose behind it. I have to lift this up a little. Actually, let's do it this way. Then you can have it lined up like that. And bam. Wow, that is pretty hot. And that's pretty hot. I've seen a lot of ACBA people use this effect with the DBZ figures. And it just looks great. I know J JRA Nightmare has done something like this. Uh, he t has taken a picture with the perfect cell with this display piece and just looks gorgeous. So that's that. So I'm gonna just take this out of the way. This is a pretty heavy piece, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's get on to the actual figure now. Now, when it comes to perfect cell, maybe it's just my figure, but I have to say the joints are kind of weak on this figure. Now you guys can comment down below and let me know if your figure is like that as well. But for mine, the cell, the sculpting looks excellent. Let's zoom in on this sculpting first. Look at that. I mean, I love what SH Figure Arts has done to capture the likeness of this character. I mean, this is the best cell figure ever created, period. Uh, I mean, I've collected uh, Dragon Ball Z figures when I was younger uh, from the Super Battle Collection, etc. I'm like, I've collected them all, pretty much, in one shape or form. I sold them at this point in time, but I've had it once before, and clearly this is the the definitive cell figure you can ever possibly want for your display. Now, sculpt, sculpting, like I said, you can't beat this figure. I mean, the wings, look at it. I mean, it's a little dusty from my display, but it's okay. It has this little nice, um, what's it called? This absorption piece right here where, yeah, if you didn't watch it, I'm not going to spoil anything, but just watch it. Everything is immaculate, like the muscle tone definitions right here uh, to the boots or the shoes right here with like this and the lines going through them. I mean, everything, even the muscle piece right here, every little thing is perfectly sculpted. These little holes are just nicely done. It just looks so damn cool. Now, Paint job, once again, just as good. It's perfect, pretty much. The black is nice and shiny. 
uh, the green there's no splotches at least not on mine and I'm pretty sure majority of the figures I would say 90 five percent of them 97 percent even um, I'm sure you're not gonna have any problems with the paint job at all I mean the blacks are nice and defined the green the light greens for his skin it should be exactly how you see it here the little green pieces it shouldn't be smudging over uh, I don't see any on my figure at least and just the tone the shadings that they've done so you can kind of see the muscle definition like right there etc on the back uh, it's just all there which is pretty damn sexy I mean look at this guy now the only gripe I ha would have with this figure is the following he is quite loose when it comes to the joints everywhere pretty much uh, he's just sloppy I it's not sloppy but I would say from all the other SH figure arts DBZ characters he has the weakest joints of them all like this leg you see that I mean I've pretty much I posed him in one particular pose and that was it I don't really touch my figures once they're displayed because I want to keep them in pristine condition but he out of packaging is just the very very um, his joints are very loose so that's something that is kind of disappointing but hey I'll take him any day I rather have him than not you know so maybe this is just my figure but um, I do have some problems with how loose the joints are now the articulation is all there here we go ball jointed shoulder you could get him to do a 360 this part right here will not hinder because it's on its own separate joint on the arm he does have a bicep swivel here and for those of you guys who are curious how do I put this on it's very simple you just pull off the arm here pull it out push it in etc uh, double jointed elbows as you can see wrist can fully rotate can move in and out like usual um, same thing goes for this side he has an upper diaphragm joint he has a waist swivel but the waist swivel is kind of high up it's right here the legs can go out that far it's hindered because of this part right here he does have the pull down feature so you can kind of work with it um, he does have a rotation here as well it's connected to the ball joint part double jointed knees and I love how they covered up this part by using this part to cover it up for his not like kneecap the feet are on a ball joint so you could get all types of motions you get the swivel um, he has a toe joint so that's that another cool thing about this character his wings are articulated so you could get him in some crazy like flying poses you could get him where he's just all the way and his wings are straight down you could have them out more I mean the fun factor with this character is unbelievable the head lastly I don't think I talked about it can go 360 he does have a neck joint if you guys can kinda of see it there so that's pretty cool too head swapping on this figure is the same as any other uh, SH figure arts character pretty much um, you would just take out this entire head pull this uh, face down and then push the another face in so it's pretty much the same deal over and over again alright guys so final thoughts on this figure it's a must get I would say um, you will not be disappointed with the sculpt you will not be disappointed with the paint job you will not be disappointed with the accessory count I mean you get this bad boy right here this pretty much yeah that's just awesome um, so you get an awesome character an awesome villain that is needed for the DBZ line you get this awesome accessory a decent amount of interchangeable parts so yeah uh, would I recommend this figure heck yeah go purchase it before it gets 
ridiculous in price like all the other DBZ characters are going for these days. So pick it up, it's still a pretty recent figure, um, I would say. I know places like Big Bad Toy Store, GundamPlanet.com, and even Amazon, they all have it. So just go and pick up a copy of for yourself today. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Up next, I'll have another villain for you guys. It's going to be Frieza himself. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Till next time, this is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out.